Every person in this room needs to understand you are not in a despised minority. You are in an incredibly gentle and tolerant majority who put up with this crap for way too long. As they insulted not only you, but the memory of your ancestors who died for this country. They tore down statues to their memory. People have never built anything in their lives. They went out of their way to humiliate you and spit on you and the graves of your ancestors. And that's not an exaggeration, they did that. We put up with it for four years, but we can't anymore. We just can't. If you allow people to get away with things that are completely over the top and outrageous, if you allow your two-year-old to smear the contents of his diapers on the wall of your living room, and you do nothing about it, if you allow your 14-year-old to light a joint at the breakfast table, if you allow your hormone-addled 15-year-old daughter to like slam the door of her bedroom and give you the finger, you're gonna get more of it. And those kids are gonna wind up in rehab. It's not good for you, and it's not good for them. No. There has to be a point at which dad comes home. Dad comes home. And he's pissed. Dad is pissed. He's not vengeful. He loves his children. Disobedient as they may be, he loves them. Because they're his children, they live in his house. But he's very disappointed in their behavior. And he's gonna have to let them know. He's gonna have to get to your room right now and think about what you did and when dad gets home, you know what he says? You've been a bad girl. You've been a bad little girl and you're getting a vigorous spanking right now. And no, it's not going to hurt me more than it hurts you. No, it's not. I'm not going to lie. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. That's the point at which you say, no, I'm sorry. I put up with this crap for a long time. I indulge your little fantasy. It's like when your teenage girl becomes a vegetarian, you're like, okay, that's, you know, okay, it's fine. No, I totally understand. You're like, it's a phase. But if that phase goes on for nine years and includes destroying your major cities and allowing your country to be invaded by millions of foreigners who identities you don't know, and whose purpose in this country is unclear, by the way, why shouldn't we feel threatened by that? If they go out of their way to crush families, to make it impossible for your kids to buy a house, I mean, getting involved in the sex lives of your children, which they are, if they do all of that, they need to lose. And at the end of all of it, when they tell you they've won, no. You can look them straight in the face and say, I'm sorry, dad's home and he's pissed. Thank you. Kamala Harris shouldn't have a job. She has no skills. How did we wind up with a system where Kamala Harris, you couldn't change the tire on your truck, much less drive it, how did she wind up at the top of the pyramid? And then once she's there, she lectures you, like you did something, it's too much. You can't allow that. It has flipped. The story the country tells itself about reality has flipped. None of the normal people are supporting the democratic machine. Tim Walls is supporting the democratic machine. A man you would never allow to babysit your own children. That's the archetype. It's the party of weirdos, of envy, of hate, of resentment, of bitterness, of weakness, of a total lack of creativity. It's a party of conformity. It's a party of the machine, where it doesn't matter who the candidate is because individuals are immaterial. All that matters is the collective. That's the Soviet model. I think Donald Trump's gonna win. Um, which is amazing. This is the end of a redemption arc. I've, I've really never seen anybody treated like Donald Trump was treated, ever. Anybody, ever. Attack him. I watched this all up close. Defame him. Indict him. Arrest him. Let him get shot in the face. And he's gonna win anyway. It is a triumph.
I'm following Bobby Kennedy Jr. And somewhere in a half-empty union hall in a cold state is Dick Cheney's creepy little daughter campaigning with Kamala Harris. And I have to say, that is a thrilling trade as far as I'm concerned. I never thought I would live to see the day when Bobby Kennedy would be one of the most beloved figures in a you know, room full of Republicans and Mr. Burns from The Simpsons and his criminal daughter would be Democrats. He started to say that if Donald Trump were to win, it would be like, quote, daddy's home, daddy's coming home. And he said that Trump, like God, loves all of his children, talking about the mainstream media, in his words, and uh, Democrats, and said that Trump would need to give them a good spanking. Now, this is something the crowd went wild for here. There are thousands of people here. And when Trump came on stage, uh, as you can see, speaking behind me, they started screaming and chanting, daddy's home and daddy dawn. So this is something I have not heard at a Trump rally so far, but I can tell you the vibe in the room tonight does almost feel like a mini RNC.